get y'all. We're gonna pull up to the to the hizzy real quick. Um, I just picked one up. It's a Nissan Maxima, uh, Altima. I'm sorry. And this Altima is um, apparently it has uh, when they parked it, it had um, some type of charging issues. They said the battery wouldn't stay charging. And then it's been sitting for a year, okay? So after doing some research, I've learned, all right, well, I already knew this, but confirming my knowledge, well, yeah. I, anyways, I looked it back up just to confirm. It says gas on average lasts between three to six months. I've seen a lot of old country guys uh, get things started on gas that, man, man, you'd be surprised. I've seen some, man, I've seen some guys get some stuff started that, You'd be surprised, but um, I don't like to risk my customers' vehicles, injectors, and stuff, right? Like, so I'm picking up mechanic work. I've told y'all, you know. So um, that's kind of what I'm gonna do real quick. Is I'm going to um, I got this tester, so we're gonna put juice to this battery real quick, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all be with me because I don't do much of this stuff with y'all, and I think that y'all might appreciate it. But I got this cool tester, right? So here's my, you know, I'm at my house, well, my yard, and I probably ought to unload it first, but just in case, I want to see how much gas is in it, because if it's got just like a quarter tank, guess what I'm doing? Yeah, I'm just going straight up to the grocery store, or the store, and I'm going to fill it up with gas, that way, uh, I don't have to worry about, uh, running bad gas to it, I can have a, if, if it's like a quarter tank or less, you know, but you never know, guys, you, that's the thing, is you, you won't know until I... I put a uh, what you doodle uh, power box on it and see what the uh, gas gauge is looking like. I know I don't want to try to start it necessarily because of the injectors, right? Like I don't, I don't want to clog the injectors. All right, all right. there's the old, old girl, old faithful. It's been run over. That's my fault though, because the customer did it, but it was my fault. It was another. It was on the last uh, repair I did. I was airing up the tire for him. Oh, Lord. Oh, man, I probably should have let it off the truck. I'm getting, getting too old for this. All right. So this is my, you know, I'm sure most of y'all know this, but I own this little towing company. Um, I basically do consensual tows for now. I've, I'm insured to be non-consensual, but um, I have to get a gate and cameras put up out here. And uh, I haven't. I haven't had the finances to do that yet. My business is still a baby. And uh, with it being a baby, uh, you know, you, you spend a lot of money, guys, getting things started. And uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful. But uh, you don't uh, wake up the next morning after starting a business and you're a billionaire. Um, it just don't happen. And so once I learned that... <laughs> Uh, I realized I was going to have to do a bunch of work and sacrifice uh, a lot of the things that I love. Get, you know, I've sold a bunch of stuff that I own to keep keep this thing alive. You know, <laughs> feeding this this baby of mine. All right, so there's our juicy juice. There's the roids, y'all. Let's get the. Let's see what the. I don't want to get the uh, what you call it. Um, I do, I would not like to get the, uh, fuel pump activated once again. So, oh, whoa, man, I'm being stupid. I would not like to get the fuel pump activated once again. I just seen the plus sign. Um, I would not like to get the fuel plus, the fuel pump activated again. Okay. So, um, with that being said, I'm just gonna go in here and see how much gas it's got, if it'll tell me. Alright. Oh. All the way dead. Save. Oh, you know why? Cause I'm just the one thing. Sorry, y'all. Same thing, huh? Okay.
Oh, how much gas, baby? What? Look at how little gas. Y'all, y'all think I should just go fill it up? Hey, let me let me get back. Let me make a couple phone calls. Y'all, that's like a, a almost less than a quarter tank. Let me make a couple phone calls. I'll be back. Um, say what? What do you see? What is this that you see? <laughs> Come on, man. You mean it? Look, let me just let me tell you something. You mean to tell me? You're gonna put something like a car that ain't ran in a little bit in front of my face and be like, Psh, man, you ain't gonna figure this out. Just give me a minute. Actually, give me 25. And uh, I got you, bruh. So it is showing that the alternator is bad, okay? So I do have some work to do, but it's full of good fuel. Bad fuel is already drained. Yeah, y'all, boom. Well, not drained, but there was so little in there, y'all. I've topped it all the way off. Come on, man. That's good. All I got to do is change that alternator. This is a solid little car. I'm going to um, keep the meter on it and looking for new codes. But look, I mean, it's, I think it's burning off some of that bad fuel right now. Would that make sense? Is that what? I'm doing some research on white smoke, but it's a little bit white. So I had a call come in. I'm sorry, y'all update so yeah we're getting it getting it so i'm down to i've got everything where i need it and on this particular car it is easier to access the belt tensioner pulley and stuff with the tire off and hey you wonder how look when you got just enough space oh yeah because i'm you know trying to do this here in the heat and would you know what wants to come in handy Would you know what wants to come in handy today? I know it's a bit of a mess. Look at there, y'all. Yep. The old heater keeping me warm. It's got the vents poking outside, right? Anyways, y'all, kind of getting it done. Um, I think I got about another hour, and I'll have it uh, wrapped up, but I'm going to have to test it, right? The, every, the belt looks fine. Fluids are fine. But yeah, I'll be back with y'all. Oh, I ended up having a great luck with the fuel. Um, guys, everything's going great. I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks for watching. I'm so rude, y'all. Let me forget to say, I forgot to say Happy New Year's to y'all. Um, so, Happy New Year. Uh, last year, um, I just, I was very close. I was this close to hitting the... Um, YouTube requirements to be able to uh, start um, being able to sell stuff. I think it was like one of the first options you get. You get they got tiers that you go up. We're so close, but I I haven't like another month to make like I don't know. I think it's like 400, 500 watch hours. But you guys, I just wanted to take a quick second to say thank y'all so much for watching. Cause the fact that I've almost got it done in a year, whew, you guys have been so great, and I appreciate y'all so much. I just wanted to say that. All right. Uh, I'll be back with y'all whenever uh, I get a little bit further with... All right, so we're about 45 minutes in. I've got the belt off, okay? Um, I've got the belt tied up in place so I didn't lose the belt placement. Everybody that I was watching videos, um, I'm going to do a shout-out in a minute to the guy who... A uh, video I watched to talk me this, teach me this, but all the guys were like, oh, that belt tension will pull it. Guys, it's right there. I mean, legit, dude. Hold on. I can't even get my camera on the darn thing. Look, you pop this. You really ain't even got to pop the tire off if you're. But look, she's right there, y'all. All you got to do is put that 14 on there and give her a good turn that way. And she's loose. I did it with my foot, y'all. I'm not joking. By myself, I put my foot. You see that little. See that wrench? I put my foot. Hold on. Zoom, baby. See the wrench? I put my foot on it from up here. Literally did it with my hand and then tied it off. Look, the belts. The belt is tied to my rope into this line briefly. Okay, holding its place. That way, whenever 
You see what I'm saying? Anyways, y'all, I'm not a mechanic, like, officially, never been... But you don't have to get yourself whooped and have to re... Like, why reroute that whole thing, dude? Anyways, y'all, I'll be back. Thanks. Right, so next, of course, you gotta take off the... Boop, get it, boo. Oh, where is the... There it is. You gotta do... See this dude? He is the... This is the opposite of this dude. Okay. So you're gonna go with this dude. He's gotta come off. He's gonna come off. Yeah. It might be a she. Heck, I don't know. Maybe that's a he. They say opposite to trapped. Anyways. Do -do 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 -do. Get that off and out of the way. You do not want it. Okay cats are tearing up the house you do not want that having an opportunity to come back and swivel your bridgets uh you want it to stay away from your swivels and you don't want it catching no like temporary ground anywhere else either i don't reckon i don't spread the little little leaves the cool thing was when i was doing my inspection i noticed zero rat edge which made me feel really good um because i was worried about that but yeah so i've got the belt off i'll be back here in a minute Okay, all right, so uh, the new alternator is on. Um, guys, just to show you the way I did it, do you see this? That's, uh, you know, the pulley right there. So I did it to where I, you know, boom, okay? Just like that. And so now I'm gonna take my tension off real slow. Everything looks, let me see how straight that looks. Make sure it's all the way on straight. Okay, it is there. It is there. I think I could... Let me see. I think it could move over a little... Oh, that's because my wrench is touching it. Okay, let's see what happens. Do this real slow. Make sure my belt stay on. Good. Looks good there. There looks good. Um, I ended up taking the tire off, y'all. I got tired of fighting with it. Anyways, looks good there. Down there looks good. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get this. Uh, I ended up taking the water, re uh, the reservoir off too. Just got tired of fighting. But anyways, let me be right back with y'all. Thank y'all. All right. So the final update is, is it got, I got it running and it's delivered to the customer. Um. So this is no joke. Today is Wednesday, January 3rd. I picked it up yesterday uh, around 5 or 4, okay? And I returned it to the customer today um, probably around 2 or 3 o'clock. So, and then I, uh, I ended up putting a new battery in it too, Um the old battery had, uh, it was gone, completely gone. And so, like, when I say that, it wouldn't even hold a charge. It was just done. So, with that being said, I, uh, ended up getting a new battery. So, after doing all that, <clears throat> it was, uh, a two-mile tow to my, where, my house here where I live. So, it was a two-mile tow. So, uh, and I delivered it back with the tow truck. I wasn't going to drive the car and, uh, it, it, I don't believe it has insurance. It's been sitting for over a year, and even if it does have insurance, uh, I'm not I'm not driving it. And so um, I did did do some driving after I did the install, checked everything on the meter, um, verified the fuses. There are alternator fuses as well. You got you need to check because um, that's a big that's a big deal. And then sometimes they can blow if you don't do things right. And so. Uh, you, you got to check those and so you can put a brand new alternator in okay and not check the fuse and uh, They drive the car for you know you drive it you can you know you can do your test drive 10 or 15 minutes or whatever But unless you do like a true good bit of driving in that thing You're not gonna know uh, You know the only thing that's gonna determine when that car is gonna die is how good that battery is and how much juice it's got and I mean you may be getting some juice and there's other things too you can have a tensioner you can have a tensioner pulley issue as well. 
Um, sorry, y'all. I, I walk in circles. Uh, so basically, there's a, there's other things that could cause um, you to be not getting the proper amount of uh, juice uh, circulating through the system. And so, after determining that you know with the multimeter and everything that everything was working, I know this bearded and hair is crazy, y'all. Um, after determining that everything worked, you guys, I. Uh, uh, deliver it to the customer and they're happy and I ended up um, billing uh, right around 870 for all of it and it uh, I, like I said I, I picked it up yesterday at uh, and oh that's including parts now keep in mind um, I uh, the parts the the alternator for that car I got one that for it, it, Nissan parts are expensive but parts right now are expensive anyways but uh, i got a all the alternator was 360 and there's a 60 dollar or 50 dollar core so i'm bringing it back but uh so about 310 for the alternator and then um i put a new battery in it too the battery was 220 okay um advanced i got uh the guy didn't, you know, the customer wanted to go with, you know, affordable stuff. And I told the guy to advance that. And he was like, well, you know, he's like, you, you really going to do that to him? And I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, and this wasn't, you know, I ended up getting the gold because he talked me into it. I ended up making me feel bad. <laughs> this is no joke. Like, he was like, you, so you're just going to do that to him? And I'm like, what do you mean? She said she wanted the most, she said she wanted the most, you know, she wanted an affordable battery. And he was like. Well, you know, you could get this one right here, and he clicked on it, and he was like, man, he was like, that just ain't it, and he clicked on that, this other one, and he was like, see that one right there? He's like, for basically for $20 more, uh, you could get uh, you could get the Gold Series, the best thing smoking. And so, I mean, of course, I'm just sitting here thinking, well, <laughs> I did it, right? I got it. Anyways, uh, so they got a brand new battery, and that was 220 and then so, you know, I, I did okay. I mean, um... Yeah, I think I probably had an hour and a half in it. I wanted to wash the car. Oh, oh a full tank of fuel. A full tank of fuel is uh was sixty dollars. Okay, so yeah, it was right at sixty. So with that being said, we're uh we I didn't do great, but I you know I'd also want to be good to people and help people. It just I still made money, you know, and I had to do toes. I did three toes yesterday too, you know, so. It is what it is. I uh, it, it ended up working out. I'm just, I hope that it, it stays okay with that car. You know, I told the lady that the part had a warranty and stuff. And if anything happens, you know, let me know and we'll and we'll help her out. Cause you know, I want to stand by my work, right? And if there's any issues, I'm gonna there. You know, I'm gonna take care of it. I'm gonna as far as with that work is concerned, right? So um, I'm gonna have to learn on how how to really write it like whenever i do warranty my work how i'm gonna actually do it legally and like on in contract or whatever i guess because i have no clue how that really works out so i'm gonna have to look up like just like a, i figure out some procedure or something i guess right because it's my company maybe i can write the procedure but yeah that's it you guys i just wanted to let y'all know um cars running good um i've got everything back together drove it around the house like around and around and around and around and around and around and around check the volt with the voltmeter just making sure it, you know it wasn't doing nothing crazy um did some put some brake fluid in it it needed brake fluid it needed some water in the uh overfill reservoir or the reservoir because uh you know it has the line where it's in any ways it wants it to be dead in the center and so i made sure that it was dead center and uh, the guy initially hit, he has a Mustang. The reason that car sat for a year, cause they had another car, it was a Mustang, but he hit a deer, totaled it and, uh, not totaled it, but he's thinking they, they, they totaled it. And so he's going to, uh, drive that Nissan. She was basically saying, Hey, you know, if, um, if this thing ends up being for worth too, you know, too much money to get it fixed, she was like, you know, just let me know. She's like, cause <clears throat> you know, we don't, we'll get another car and uh so you know i wanted to make sure when i go in that I, I was honest that way i didn't make them you know last thing especially when i was reading everything with the meter i wanted to make sure i was thorough and my biggest fear would be missing something serious and then, then him getting out on the road and something awful happening and them not you know them being upset with me or something you know so um 
obviously, you know, you know, you know, they, I didn't change all the fluids, like the oil and stuff. So that's like a high recommendation that, uh, you know, obviously that needs to happen, but their attitude was like, okay, get the car fixed and running and get it back to us. And so, cause maybe they got like an oil place or something, but, um, then maybe that's something I could have sold. You know, I didn't think about the upsell. I, they, she kind of made me feel like she just wanted it running affordably, right? She didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money because she's worried about it being a lemon, right? So I get that. I wanted to make sure that I was um, only going to fix stuff that if it were affordable, right? Like if it started looking like anything serious, I've seen any kind of crazy smoke or any water in the oil or anything crazy, you know, I would have let her know. But I think that everything's going to be fine. But, uh, yeah, just figured I would let y'all know I forgot to get a video of it running. But, look at the fire. Yeah. It got a little too big. That's why you see the, the black. Sometimes I get to do a bonfire in there, and it's real cool. You got to burn all that crap out and beat it with the hammer and blow a uh, blower up, you know. <laughs> Anyways, um, all right, y'all. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.